In a world full of competition and the constant need to stand out, a lot of us wonder, how can I become someone others consistently choose? This is true in our daily lives, at work, and in our communities. The reason is social circles. Stoicism's deep insights into human behavior and ethics may hold the key. Stoicism's lessons are very old, but they are still useful today. There are tried and true ways to improve your place among friends, co-workers, and peers. Why are some people always the best choice? Is it their charisma, how they deal with issues, or maybe how well they can keep calm under pressure to think about these qualities? Alexander the Great wrote, Don't waste time arguing about what a good man should be. Be one in this spirit. Stoicism doesn't just tell us to be good. It also urges us to think deeply about ourselves so that our actions are in line with our greatest values. How many times a day do you think about the people you interact with and the beliefs they show? As we look into the 10 Stoic secrets, you'll learn how to understand and embody traits like resilience, honesty, and thoughtfulness, which will make you a person people want to trust and admire. As Seneca said, it is not the man who has too little but the man who craves more that is poor. By practicing contentment and generosity, you make yourself a leader and a confidant in the eyes of others. If you're ready to commit to this type of transformation, ask yourself if you're ready to reevaluate your habits and ways of thinking in order to increase your influence and worth. Are you ready to join a group of people who are also committed to personal growth and excellence through Stoic wisdom? If so, let's start this journey together to reach our full potential and become the first choice of others. Secret number one, treat your time like gold. In the philosophy of Stoicism, time is seen as the most valuable thing a person has. This idea is echoed strongly in the works of Seneca, who urges us to realize how short life is and how foolish it is to waste it. He says that we don't have a short time to live, but that we waste a lot of it. He wants us to think deeply about how we spend our time. Treating your time like gold isn't just about carefully planning your days. It's also about making sure that every action is in line with the stoic virtues of wisdom, justice, courage, and temperance. For example, think about the disciplined person who gets up an hour early to meditate or carefully plan their day. This practice not only calms the mind, but it also develops a habit of intentionality, which is essential for anyone who wants to live a good life. Marcus Aelius gives us a free insight by telling us to live each day as if it were the last. This makes us think about what activities really deserve our time and energy. Are we spending enough time on things that really make us happy? And can we cut down on the time we spend on unimportant things? This self-reflection is important because it shapes our priorities and shows others what kind of person we are. By wisely managing our time, focusing on personal growth, giving back to our communities, and building meaningful relationships, we not only follow stoic ideals, but also make ourselves more appealing as people. People naturally gravitate toward people who are purposeful, reliable, and wise, all of which are developed by wisely managing our time. By adopting the Stoic practice of valuing every moment, we make ourselves the best choice in both our personal and professional lives. Secret number two, take charge of your emotions. How often do you let your feelings run your life? According to Stoic philosophy, being able to control your emotions is not just a trait, it's a basic skill for finding peace and strength. Stoics teach us that we can choose how to respond to things that happen to us, but not always what happens to us. A principle very clearly Epicus, who was born into slavery but became one of the most important Stoic thinkers, is used as an example. It's not what happens to you that matters, but how you react to it. This philosophy helps us stay calm and make quick decisions, even when things go wrong. Think about the CEO who stays calm during a company crisis, or the athlete who doesn't let a bad performance affect their next game. These people are modern examples of stoic principles that show that success often depends on more than just skills or knowledge. Marcus Aurelius, another famous stoic, said, 
You have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this, and you will find strength. This makes us think about our own lives and asks us to consider what makes us feel bad and how we can deal with these problems more thoughtfully. Mental state mastery is important for our own peace of mind and for how other people see and deal with us. People are drawn to those who can deal with stress and keep the peace during troubled times. If we can learn to control our emotions, our, our relationships will get better, improve our work lives, and show others how to do it. In the comments below, please share your experiences or problems with controlling your feelings. How have you used or might you use Stoic principles to better control your emotions? Use this Stoic wisdom in your daily life to find a way to peace, happiness, and success. Let's talk about it and grow on this emotional trip together. Secret number three of mastery. Make your own happiness. Not much is needed to be happy. All you need is to change the way you think. In this deep, this quote from Marcus Aurelius sums up what Stoic happiness is all about. Stoicism teaches that happiness doesn't come from things or situations outside of oneself, but from one's inner state and the choice to keep a happy attitude no matter what. Think about Epicus, who was born into slavery, but found deep happiness by focusing on his inner life and how he controlled his reactions instead of what was going on around him. How often do we let our situations decide how happy we are? Can we be happy inside, even though everything else is going crazy? Stoics say that the only way to be truly happy is to accept what we can't change and work hard at being good in the things we can. This theory is especially important in today's world, where outside stresses and materialism can make it hard to find inner peace. By adopting a mindset that finds value in simplicity and self-sufficiency, we give ourselves the tools we need to find lasting happiness. Seneca, another Stoic philosopher, said, If you want to be loved, love others. This quote emphasizes how we must actively shape our emotional well-being by being generous and kind to others, which in turn enhances our own sense of happiness and fulfillment. As you think about your own journey to happiness, think about how you might shift your focus from external validations to strengthening your inner resilience and contentment. I want you to use these stoic lessons to deal with life's problems with a happy and calm heart. Take this advice to heart if you want to live a life full of success, peace, and deep happiness. Let's talk more about how you could use these ideas in your daily life in the comments section below. Let's start by talking about how to make ourselves happy. Now we'll talk about an important part of Stoic philosophy, showing the world how valuable and important we are. Secret number four, prove your value. Stoicism teaches that our worth doesn't come from material things or praise, but from living a good life. So how can we show how important we are in a world that often rates success by how much stuff someone has? Think of Kerr. The younger was a Stoic who was known for sticking to his beliefs no matter what. He was important not because of his political power or wealth, but because of how strongly he followed his Stoic values, even though there was a lot of political pressure. This shows us that real importance comes from how strongly we stick to our values and help those around us. What can you do to live a more honest life and make sure your actions are in line with your deepest values? Epictetus, a Stoic philosopher, once said, First say to yourself what you would be, and then do what you have to do. How might this change affect your sense of self-worth and how others see your worth? As you think about your own life, this powerful statement tells you to picture your ideal self and act accordingly, showing that our worth comes from our actions and honesty, not just our words or goals. As you try to show how important you are, think about the traits you admire and how you can better show them. I encourage you to follow these stoic principles to improve not only your sense of personal significance, but also your ability to make a positive difference in the world. Use these insights to live a life full of purpose, peace, and happiness, 
proving your true significance through every action you take. Secret number five. Find it fascinating. Why are some people more interesting than others? Stoicism says that real beauty comes from more than just how someone looks. It comes from how deeply they are committed to their beliefs and how clear their character is. Mark Aurelius was a Roman emperor and the Stoic philosopher, who was famous not only for his wealth, but also for his ethics and wisdom, is a powerful example. People were drawn to Alias's strength and thoughtfulness, especially during rough times. In his meditations, he wrote, The beauty of the soul shines out when a man bears with composure one heavy mischance after another, not because he doesn't feel them, but because he is a man of high and heroic temper. How can we emulate such a heroic temper in our daily lives? Stoicism says that to be compelling, we need to develop traits like self-control, justice, courage, and wisdom, qualities that naturally draw others to us. Think about someone you find compelling. What qualities do they show that make I, them, stand out? Often, it's their calmness in a storm, their ability to listen deeply, or their unwavering commitment to their values. Someone else famous for being stoic made this point clear when he said, As a story, so is life. What matters is not how long it is, but how good it is. We can apply this to our search for beauty. It's not about how much we show off, but how we can really help other people. This tough attitude in makes us want to look beyond superficial allure and focus on deepening our character. How can you develop these stoic virtues in yourself to become more attractive? What changes could you make to not only improve your personal magnetism, but also your relationships with others? Please share your thoughts and experiences in the comments below, and let's talk about how we can use these ancient teachings to live successful and deeply attractive lives. Thanks to stoic knowledge, we found five secrets that will help you become a top choice for those around you. Your participation motivates us to teach Stoic philosophy to more people. Please help us spread the Stoic philosophy by liking and sharing this movie and keeping up with the last five secrets on your meaningful life. Today's journey, secret number six, choose your own road as you go through life's many options. How do we find the road that is truly ours? Stoic philosophy gives us a deep framework for this, stressing how important it is to live in harmony with nature and our own rational processes. Big Toe, a Stoic philosopher who was born into slavery but found great freedom in his own life, tells us that only learned people are free. This sentence shows how important personal philosophy is in deciding our path, not just in terms of job or goals, but also in our growth as moral and logical beings. Determining your own path is more than just doing what other people want you to do. It also means getting to know your own ideals and how they affect the things you do. Stoics like Marcus Aurelius thought that our ways should not be guided by rewards from outside sources, but by our own commitment. To live a good life, how often do we stop and think about whether the things we do every day are really who we are? Are we going after goals that are important to us, or are we just following a plan someone else made? Plenty of examples can be found in history, like Cato the Younger, who stuck to his beliefs even when he was up against the powerful Caesar. Julius II. Cato's life shows how to stick to your own morals instead of what other people expect of you or what you can get right away. His story makes us think about the decisions we've made. Are we as firm in our beliefs, and do they lead us down a road that is truly our own? As you think about where you want your life to go, think about what it means to live in line with your highest self. If you act in line with your deepest values, you will see a road that is clearly your own. Take these conservative ideas to heart to live a life full of not only success, but also deep peace and happiness. Set your course with honesty and let your life show what you value. How can we make sure that our plans and ideas not only connect with others, 
but also reflect our core beliefs? Stoicism stresses the importance of open and honest communication as a way to successfully lead and influence others. This is also the seventh secret that Stoicism wants you to understand if you want to be others' first choice. Secret number seven. Talk about your plans and thoughts. One of the most famous Stoic thinkers, Sina, shows this through. Through his many writings and conversations, he made it clear that he thought sharing knowledge wasn't just an academic exercise, but also a useful way to make people's lives better. While we teach, we learn, he said, emphasizing the two benefits of sharing ideas. Imagine a leader or coach whose clear communication not only guides, but also motivates their team. Their ability to explain their vision and make sure it fits with their values can turn a simple plan into an exciting mission. How frequently you check your writing to make sure it accurately shows your goals and principles follow your words. Make links, or do they fall apart? Stoicism tells us that wisdom doesn't just happen. It thrives on exchange. Marcus Aurelius's meditations are a personal testament to this, revealing his philosophical and mental questions as if he were talking to himself and, ultimately, to us, his readers. His reflections make us think about what happens when we share our own ideas in an open and thoughtful way. As you move forward, take a moment to think about how well you communicate your plans and ideas. Are they based on the stoic virtues of wisdom? Bravery, bravery, fair play, and moderation. Talk about things that matter to you and make sure that your thoughts are heard in a way that promotes community success, happiness, and peace. Secret number eight. What will you do to improve how you tell the world? About your vision? Stoic thought can help you find your true value. The Stoics say that this is one of the most important things you can do in your life. Our worth isn't based on what other people say about us. It's based on our commitment to virtue and the living story Tetis, whose strength in the face of hardship has inspired many shows us that how we respond to life's events is more important than the events themselves. He reportedly said, It's not what happens to you that matters, but how you react. The idea behind this is that our real worth comes from our ability to be honest and good no matter what. Another example of Stoic virtue is Marcus Aurelius, who was Roman emperor and always followed Stoic principles to rule wisely and fairly even though he was under a lot of pressure and temptation. His dedication to Stoic ethics, especially justice and temperance, showed that real value comes from within and shows itself in our choices and actions. His writings make us think about whether our daily actions reflect the virtues we value. This Stoic view of value helps us build self-respect and genuine self-esteem that don't depend on things or praise, but on living a life that is in line with our deepest values. By striving to be wise, brave, just, and temperate, we can not only improve our own lives, but also have a positive effect on those around us. As you think about your own value, think about how you can get these stoic traits to work better in your life. What specific steps can you take today to live more honestly and respect your own worth? Follow these rules to create a life that is not only successful on the outside, but also peaceful and happy on the inside. How might a stronger devotion to Stoic ideals change your self-esteem and the way you treat other people? Could your thoughts be a guiding light for someone? Please share them in the comments. Putting yourself first is an important part of living a balanced and satisfying life. The Stoic philosophy tells us to sometimes put ourselves first, but not in the way you might think. It's not about being selfish. It's about making sure we are mentally and emotionally ready to deal with life's challenges and to serve others well. Seneca, a Stoic philosopher famous for his useful life advice, shows this with his words. Take care of yourself like you would a beloved garden. Your morals are the flowers that need to be tended to. When do you find the time to do this? Stoicism teaches that taking care of ourselves is important for building resilience and wisdom so that we can make a good difference in the world. 
Marcus Aurelius wrote a lot about how important it was to take care of one's own mental and spiritual growth, which he saw as a key part of doing one's duties in an honest and useful way. He practiced meditation, reflection, and self-discipline, all of which are ways of putting oneself first that are meant to improve one's ability to live by Stoic virtues. Take Cato the Younger as an example. He often chose to be alone to think about and renew his dedication to Stoic principles and to the chaos of Roman politics. Putting himself first through his actions helped him keep his integrity in the face of outside pressures. As you go through the complicated world of today, think about how putting yourself first in a calm way can help you. Prioritizing self-care and personal growth can help you have better relationships and live a more meaningful life. Embracing stoic practices of self-care and personal growth not only makes you happier and more at peace with yourself, but it also makes others see you as a strong and reliable person. By focusing on your own development, you naturally raise your standing as someone who is always the first choice in personal and professional situations. The secret number for circles is 10. As we look at the last secret, which is to inspire others, it's important to think about how Stoic philosophy can not only help us grow as people, but also give us the power to inspire those around us. Stoicism says that one of the best things about being a good person is being able to set a good example by being consistent in your deeds and wise in your words. Marcus Aurelius, a model of virtue in the Stoic tradition, led by example, showing that being a real leader means inspiring others through honesty and toughness. His thoughts make us think about what qualities in other people inspire me and how I can show these qualities in my own life. Think about the impact of Epictetus, whose lessons have encouraged many people to see hardship as a way to grow by seeing problems as chances to show virtue. Encourage those around us to adopt a similar attitude. This not only makes us stronger, but it also encourages others to keep going through their problems as you follow these stoic principles. You can be an inspiration to others through your actions and attitudes. Are there certain virtues you can work on to make your impact as a role model stronger? By striving to inspire through our commitment to stoic values, we become the first choice for others not only as leaders, but also as trusted companions on life's journey. What steps will you take today to inspire those around you? In our journey through the Ten Secrets to become the first choice of others, we have rediscovered the stoic virtues that make individuals. As Seneca once said, It is not the man who has too little that is poor. It is the man who wants more that is poor. By following these stoic principles, we can make our lives better and become examples of trustworthiness for others. Each Stoic secret leads to a life not only full of success, but also deep fulfillment and peace. If you found this video useful, please don't forget to like it and leave a comment with your thoughts. Let's share this information with everyone so that it can spread widely. If you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel so that we can learn and grow together every day through Stoicism. We look forward to sharing more with you in future videos.